POTS and vasovagal syncope have an interesting relationship and it's important to talk about because a lot of people will conflate them when they're just kind of beginning the journey and trying to understand it. POTS is going to be an elevation of the heart rate where we see the blood pressure stays stable while you're upright. And then when you return back to laying down, everything normalizes. Like those are the criteria for POTS. Vasovagal syncope is a little bit different and we can actually have different types, but it ultimately culminates in blood pressure going down, which is not a function that we see in POTS. When the blood pressure goes down, we may also see that the heart rate goes up or down. It can go either way. There are different types of vasovagal syncope. So we think about like uh, the vasodepressor type is when just the blood pressure comes down. The bradycardic type is when just the heart rate drops down. And when they both come down and then that ultimately leads to a drop in cerebral perfusion, that's when we see people will develop syncope where they will pass out. But that is gonna be a different thing in POTS because in POTS specifically, there's no change in the blood flow. And that's really helpful for us to understand where the adaptation is occurring. In POTS, it means that as that blood pressure may want to come down, it's being met with an increase in heart rate to be able to hold some stability. Symptom-wise, you may start to experience symptoms because I may change cerebral perfusion even though the blood pressure is normal. I know that's a lot to go through. We've done some other videos on this. If you wanna dive deeper into it, go to our YouTube, look at that link between uh, POTS and vasovagal syncope. Diagnosing POTS and it'll really help you understand the mechanisms of how that works.